Students, electrons in solids, they obey the Fermi-Dirac distribution or the Fermi-Dirac statistics. Now, here in this video, I will tell you about the Fermi-Dirac statistics as well as what is the Fermi level. And later on in this video, I will also tell you about the application of Fermi level in semiconductors. So here you can see the Fermi-Dirac distribution function. This is given as f of e it is also known as the probability of occupancy now what is the mathematical form the form is given here that is 1 upon 1 plus e to the power e minus ef by kt here k is as you know it is the boltzmann constant and capital t is the temperature at absolute scale now what is ef this is the Fermi energy level. So F of E is the probability of occupancy of an electron. So by using this mathematical distribution function, we are going to calculate the number of electrons or rather we can calculate the probability of occupancy of an electron in an energy level which is actually at capital E. Now by using this statistical distribution, we are interested about to find out the values of f of e for three different cases. Number one, when e greater than ef, let us consider an energy level e which is actually at a higher energy level as compared to ef. Now what is ef? I will later discuss this. And let us consider that the semiconductor is kept or the solid is kept at t equals to 0 kelvin so what will be the value of f of e now let's put here t equals to 0 and you will find that the that this fraction that is e to the power e minus ef by kt as the denominator t is equals to 0 so it will be e to the power infinity positive value as because e is greater than ef so the value will be f of e 1 by 1 plus e to the power infinity now what is the value of e to the power infinity yes rightly you said that e to the power infinity is equals to infinity so the value will be 1 by 1 plus infinity as infinity is very greater than 1 so we can neglect 1 here and the value will be 1 upon infinity and that is 0 so we have find that if e greater than ef at t equals to 0 kelvin f of e that is the probability of occupancy of an electron at an energy level e will be equals to 0 remember this now the second case is when e less than ef that is we have an energy level e the energy level E is actually less than the Fermi level energy and again we are considering the solid or the semiconductor at T equals to 0 Kelvin. So what will happen? The value of F of E will be equals to 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus of infinity as because t equals to 0 and e is less than ef so the numerator of this fraction will be a negative value and some negative value divided by 0 will make it e to the power minus of infinity so i can write it as 1 by 1 plus 1 by e to the power infinity as e to the power minus infinity means 1 upon e to the power infinity now to the power infinity means infinity and 1 by infinity means 0 so it will be 1 plus 0 and that will make it a number 1 so what is the value here at e less than ef for t equals to 0 kelvin the probability of occupancy of an electron that is the value of f of e is equals to 1 and you already know that in statistics the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is 0 so again remember the value 1 now students case number three is very much important both for the mathematical part and the physical part here you will consider that here i have taken e equals to ef but 
T is not equals to 0 Kelvin. Why not equals to 0 Kelvin? As because if we put T equals to 0 and as because E is equals to EF, the value of this fraction will be 0 upon 0 and that is not done. So, we have to take T not equals to 0 Kelvin but for E equals to EF. Now, what will happen? What is the value? It will be 1 plus again e to the power 0 and again you rightly said that e to the power 0 is 1. So, the value will be 1 upon 1 plus 1 or 1 by 2. So, the Fermi Dirac distribution function or the probability of occupancy for E equals to EF and the semiconductor is kept at T not equals to 0 Kelvin, the value is half. So, these are the three values what we have just now calculated that is for E greater than EF T equals to 0 Kelvin, the probability of occupancy is 0. For E less than EF T again equals to 0 Kelvin, the probability of occupancy is 1. And the third case that is for E equals to EF at T not equals to 0 Kelvin, F of E equals to half. So, let us incorporate these three values and plot a graph of Fermi Dirac distribution function that is F of E with energy E. Let us draw the graph. Here I have drawn x axis as the energy axis and in the y axis the value of f of e as because energy is the independent parameter here and f of e is the dependent parameter here. So, we have two cases let us draw the first one that is for t equals to 0 Kelvin. We have two values as you can see that for e greater than e f f of e equals to 0 and for e less than e f f of e equals to 1. So, here this is the value of 1 in the f of e axis and this is the e f. The graph looks like this as you can see for energy e less than e f the value is 1 and for energy greater than e f that is in this part of the axis the value of f of e is 0. So, here I have already plotted these two values that is e greater than e f and e less than e f and this will be around t equals to 0 Kelvin. But the third one that is at e equals to e f. Now, when temperature not equals to 0 Kelvin, what will happen? We have f of e equals to half. So, this is the value half here. So, I can mark this half and so this will be the case for T not equals to 0 Kelvin or you can say T greater than 0 Kelvin. The Fermi Dirac distribution function looks like this that is here is a curve you can see and you can interpret as well that when E is greater than EF the value going tending towards the 0 value and when E less than EF the value is actually 1. As I have told you earlier that I will derive or I will go on discussing what is the Fermi level and this is one of the most important question covering in this video. Now, from these mathematical analysis, not the mathematical derivation I have shown here. So, the mathematical analysis what tells us? It tells us about a certain value of the energy level and that will the Fermi level. So, the Fermi level is actually the maximum allowable energy level for an electron at T equals to 0 Kelvin. How can I say it? You can see it that from these two mathematical values that is when E greater than E f the value of the distribution is 0 but when E less than E f the value of the distribution is equals to 1. So, this is the maximum allowable energy level. So, this is the energy level diagram or energy band diagram for an intrinsic semiconductor you already know this about. But where is the Fermi level? So, for an intrinsic semiconductor you already know that the Fermi level lies just in between the 
energy band gap or in between the conduction band and the valence band. Now let's incorporate these statistical value with this figure. Here we can see that when E greater than EF, so this energy level, that is the conduction band energy level has a higher energy level with compared to the Fermi energy level. So the case here applies that for E greater than EF, now the value of the distribution function is equals to zero. What does it mean physically? It means that this conduction band which has a higher energy level with compared to the Fermi energy level all the electrons are absent here or rather you can say that conduction band is completely empty with electrons okay again for the valence band as you can see from the figure that the energy level of the valence band is less than the fermi energy level and rightly say to you that here we can apply this particular case that is for e less than f at t equals to 0 kelvin the distribution function tells us that the value will be equals to 1 so that means that the valence band is completely filled with electrons so this is the probability of occupancy of electrons that means that whether electrons are going to stay or not these distribution functions tells us so what will be the case for f of e equals to half that is when temperature increases beyond 0 kelvin or rather at room temperature what will happen the distribution function tells us that f of e equals to half half means 50 percent of the electrons or the total number of electrons will stay here in the fermi energy level so that's why I have told you that Fermi level or EF is the maximum allowable energy level for electrons at temperature 0 Kelvin because beyond that level, beyond the Fermi level, no electrons will lie there. Now some of you have a question that we already know that for an intrinsic semiconductor no electrons will be there inside the energy band gap but here sir you have drawn that fermi level so what is the answer here now here i will tell you that let's focus on the value of f of e or the name of f of e f of e is the probability probability of occupancy of an electron so if there is an energy level there comes the probability of occupying now as in the case of an intrinsic semiconductor there will be no energy level available inside the band gap so electrons will not be there as there is no available energy level for electrons at t0 kelvin in the case of an intrinsic semiconductor right now this fermi direct distribution function is going to be applied for calculating the electrons and holes at equilibrium state so in this video i am going to show you how to calculate the number of electrons or the number of holes when the when the semiconductor is in steady state or at equilibrium so let's move on to this video